What is up guys, So Sports back in with another video. And in today's video, I'm doing the Cleveland Cavaliers franchise rebuild 2.0. I did this a little bit earlier in the year, or a lot of it earlier actually, um, just as the season was beginning and I didn't finish it. Uh, I finished it, but I just didn't edit the videos. I got lazy. And, um, but yeah, a lot has changed with the Cavs since then. And this time I'm actually gonna finish the series. But uh, just to address everything, I know I've been gone a pretty long time. But uh, it's been kind of hectic with this coronavirus and everything that's going on. So that, that's really it. That's really it. But I'm back now um, for the third time. So, yeah, just getting into it really quickly. Uh, we simulated the end of the first season. We won 26 and 56. Uh, here you can see that Giannis was your MVP. John Morant was your Rookie of the Year. Dennis Schroeder was your Sixth Man of the Year. Kawhi Leonard, Defensive Player of the Year. And most improved was Bam and Bow. Coach of the Year ended up Mike, being Mike Budenholzer. All of these, you know, were pretty normal. This is what I think the awards would be in real life. All NBA first team for you guys. All NBA second team. All NBA third team. Um, we have Andre Drummond made it. And yeah, that's one big change that has happened. Andre Drummond is now on the team. You know, before he wasn't. So we're going to have to figure out what we want to do with him potentially. Uh, all rookie first and second team. Kevin Porter Jr. didn't make any of it. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, maybe he would have. Maybe he shouldn't have. I don't know, but looking at player stats, Colin Sexton led the way for us with 21.2 points, 3.2 rebounds, and 3.2 assists. Shot pretty efficient from the field as well, 47% from the field, about 37% from three. Kevin Love pitched in 17.8 points and 9.5 rebounds himself. Shot nearly 44% from the field and nearly 37% from three. You can see Andre Drummond pitching in 17 points and 14 rebounds. Dylan Windler pitched in 12 points. He shot 54% from the field, but only 32% from three. It's just, just not... not not up to par with what I was expecting from him. Darius Garland, uh, Tristan Thompson, and yeah. So we're going into the offseason now. We have a lot of things that, you know, to look to do. First off, the draft. Um, as you can see in the bottom left, we went 26 and 56. That's the bottom right, excuse me. But yeah, we were not very good. We should have around a top five pick. So looking at this year's draft, we could take like a James Wiseman. We could take like an Anthony Edwards, like a LaMelo Ball. Obi Topin, Dini Awodia. We have a lot of decisions to make um, regarding that. So that should be a fun one. Also in free agency, Tristan Thompson is a free agent. We could look to sign and trade him. But uh, the Bucks win the championship. Um, pretty good for them. Giannis wins the first of potentially many. Here we are at the draft lottery. And uh, we have the six best odds. And we jump up to three, which is great for us. Uh, I was a little bit worried there. But, you know, all in all, it went pretty well i was hoping that maybe we jump in front of the timberwolves because as you can see at 16 they do have that brooklyn nets pick i was thinking of doing like a potential trade for that didn't work out in my favor so yeah uh again we have a lot of things that we can look to do uh should we draft a point guard should we draft a shooting guard should we draft a small forward i don't know you know we have a lot of decisions to make but here we are the nba draft with the first overall pick the Minnesota Timberwolves select Obi Topin out of Dayton. He was probably the best college player this year. He did win that wooden award. It was announced, I believe, a few days ago. Um, he was very good and solid pick for them. So that, that's that's great. That's great. Uh, Looking like at the second pick. Now, I was looking to potentially trade with um, the Chicago Bulls, you know, but I, I, just, I just opted not to. I just opted not to. I was kind of worried that they take the player that I wanted, but they go with a huge reach at second overall into like Tyrese Hollenburn. Crazy enough, over maybe like an Anthony Edwards, even a James Wiseman, a Dini Awudia, they select Tyrese Hollenburn. I, I don't know what's going on in Chicago, uh, but hey, I mean, if that's who they wanted, that's who they wanted. But here we are at three, looking to make our selection. We do have some trade offers. I mean, I'd be a fool not to look at them. There were some good ones, you know. I mean, uh, Devin Booker was in there, the fourth pick, and Draymond Green. Like, what what your Warriors thinking? Um, but I just decided not to. I mean, none of those really were really realistic, excuse me. But at three, I decided to take LaMelo Ball. Now, I think LaMelo Ball, probably him and alongside Anthony Edwards, have the most star potential out of anyone in this draft. I mean, he's a 6'7 point guard who has amazing playmaking abilities. His shot is a big question mark, and his laziness is you know a, a thing he needs to improve too but all in all i mean a guy with that brings the hype that he does who has a playmaking ability that he does 
I, I think, you know, that was the right choice. But at four, we see the Golden State Warriors take James Wiseman. Uh, great pick for them, honestly. Uh, that's who I probably see them taking in real life. Um, but yeah, at fifth, the New York Knicks select Anthony Edwards. That's a really good pick, a really good value pick at fifth because Anthony Edwards is said to be the best player in this draft. Um, and if you get him at fifth, it's just a pretty good pick. So the Knicks, hey, the Knicks are doing good things. They're doing good things. Here we are at the sixth overall pick and the Detroit Pistons select Dini Awudia out of Israel. That's a guy who I probably want the Cavaliers to take in real life, but we'll see what happens. Seventh here, the Hornets take Aaron Nesmith over uh, Nikik Okongwu, I believe his name is, out of USC, which is, that's a question mark. I, I, I don't know. You know, that's something they could do in real life. The Wizards themselves again, instead of taking the center, they take Cole Anthony when they already have John Wall. Okay. The Hawks take Devin Basil with the ninth overall pick, I believe this is, and the 10th overall pick, the Sacramento Kings select Isaac Okoro. So here I am looking to trade back up in the first round. And obviously this trade is just really unrealistic. I traded Jetty Osmond in five second round picks for the 20th overall pick in Justin Jackson. Now in real life, would that happen? Probably not, but um, I, I don't want this to be ultra, ultra, ultra realistic. I think that's maybe the one unrealistic thing I'll do in this entire draft. But with the 20th pick, I end up selecting Jalen Smith out of Maryland. And I probably didn't even have to trade up to select him because looking at where he was projected to go, he was projected to go like end of the second round which is crazy to think because jalen smith has actually been really good this year for maryland he's shown off great athleticism he's shown the ability to hit that three-point shot but anyways yeah those are two players we take lamilla ball and jalen smith here we are at uh, team player options obviously andre drummond was going to accept his i mean nobody's going to turn turn down 29 mil you see i didn't give um i didn't accept the option on ante zizic just not really looking to bring him back but um, assessing team needs, we do need a small forward. But I make the decision to make Larry Nance Jr. the small forward. He has played some small forward for the Cleveland Cavaliers this year. And it's been well. So I'm going to test that out for a season. Maybe even two. But uh, here we are for agency. I do still want to get another a small forward just in case it doesn't go well. And I mean, Derrick Jones Jr. is here for only $4 million. I'm just going to look at what else there is. Frank Juan Korkmaz is another guy. But him and Dylan Windler, I believe, have the same sort of play style. They're both three-point specialists. That's what they excel in. Uh, Denzel Valentine, he's only 6'4". He's pretty small for the small forward position. And James Ennis, he's a bit too old. But I mean, Derrick Jones Jr. for 4 mil, he only has one other offer. He's only 23 years old. How can I pass this up right here? And um, we're going to give him about a two-year, $10 million deal. I feel like that's a fair deal for someone of his caliber for what he brings to the team. And um, yeah, so he accepts. Tristan Thompson is another guy that we have to look to bring back also. Uh, and we do we bring him back to a three-year just about 33 million dollar deal and we're immediately gonna look to flip him to another team um, and the team that we do look to flip him to is the Portland Trailblazers I was maybe gonna flip him to the Boston Celtics but nothing really made sense on their part so we traded Tristan Thompson and Justin Jackson for Trevor Reza Zach Collins in a second round pick now I probably could have gotten multiple second round picks maybe even gotten a first round pick lottery protected I don't know but whatever uh with that trade we were short on um big men so i brought back john henson and uh yeah that's gonna do for this offseason i just want to look at the trade more i think that trade makes sense zach collins he's uh expendable i would think uh considering if you guys didn't see the portland trailblazers they actually were the ones who selected onikul uh, kongu i hope i'm saying his name right out of usc uh with the with their 11th pick and Hassan Whiteside actually walked. They weren't able to bring him back. He signed with the Toronto Raptors. But as I said, that's going to do it for you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, please like and sub and share with your friends. And I'm back. We're on the road to 60 subs. Once again, we're still on that road. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. And I'm out. Peace.